Hello and welcome to today's video where you'll learn how to level up your PowerPoint skills by adding some subtle but engaging animations to your PowerPoint slides. As you can see, we have multiple things going on on this slide. First, we have some profile pictures animating in to showcase your team members. Below and above each headshot, we have each person's name and skill progress bars that use a different animation to appear on screen. We also use subtle gradients and 3D effects to create a beautiful layout. Let me just replay this slide so you can see how all of these elements come together. This design can be used in a variety of topics, so you can always adjust the theme, color, shapes, and text. In the last video, we showed you how to design this Porter's Five Forces slide. So feel free to go back and watch that video. And now in this video, which is the part two of the series, we'll teach you how to create a team slide to showcase multiple people on your team and also their contribution. By the way, we are UExec. We create presentation tutorials and spreadsheet explanations to save you hours of work. Follow us to receive weekly videos that will propel your career forward. So we already have the canvas set up in Microsoft PowerPoint here. We're just going to quickly copy the header and also uh, the title text from the previous slide. Now we're going to add a rounded rectangle. So the first rounded rectangle will be an actual rectangle that we will edit the colors of. Now, this second rectangle, we're going to elongate it a little bit, and we're going to make the fill the picture of your teammate. By the way, to download this template for free, watch the entire video and we will share with you a discount code that gives you access to all our templates. That discount code is composed of three words with no spaces. The first word is work. And we're also now going to show you how to remove the background of the picture. So it looks like part of that teammate's profile picture is kind of peeking out from the square to give it a little more dimensionality. First, crop the image that you inserted and center it as much as you can. Now you're going to click on the picture format, remove background. There are two ways you can remove background. One is by marking the areas on the image that you want to keep, meaning not remove. And another way is by marking the, the areas on the image that you actually want to remove. So in this case, let's try marking the areas that we want to keep. The pink background that you're seeing here, that's going to be the area we're deleting. So after hitting confirm, and for the coloring of the square, we're going to use the colors that uh, we've chosen as the theme of this template. So we'll do a gradient from a, a subtle blue to a subtle purple, and you can adjust the actual color based on your needs and also the transparency so then it doesn't stand out too much. Now we're just going to add the person's name, the person's title, and you can change the font. And now we're going to add a line. We're going to draw a straight line and make the length of that line the same as the width of the square. And we'll move the line down to its appropriate position. And we're going to make the line a lot thicker to, let's say, 5.5 point. Uh, so then it's actually visible. And we'll change the cap type which is how the end of the line looks to round. And adjust the color of the line like we adjusted the color of that square. And we're going to go to format shape and add 
a little 3D element to give it a little more depth and contour and also to match the aesthetic of the rest of the presentation. That is going to be the progress bar for skill set number one. You can fill in this text um, later on and edit it uh, with an actual skill. And we're going to duplicate the text and the line so then that each person has three skills or three lines. And now select all of that, and we're going to make four more copies of the exact same thing. So then uh, Altogether, we have five team members on the slide. And to get a little more creative with the layout, what you can do is alternatingly switch the position of where the text and the progress bars are and where the person's image is. So for the first person, we have the image at the top. For the second person, Maybe we can have the image at the bottom and so on and so forth. And the same thing that we can apply to uh, the text and the progress bar, just to give it a little more variety, but still keep it organized at the same time. Now, revealing the second part of the promo code, the word is FROM. Of course, we need to change the pictures and the headshots for these teammates. So we're going to apply the same background removal method and insert different pictures for each team person. And real quick, just to make it more realistic, we're going to adjust the length of each progress bar. So now that we've completed the actual design and layout of the slide, we're going to show you how to animate it. First thing, now we will select all of these squares in the background and make a copy of them. These five squares will become the reference starting point of the animation, and we're going to redistribute the position of these squares so then that they are placed right next to each other and to the center. We're going to first add a path animation to the actual square that you want to animate and use the reference line of squares that we just created. So the green dot on this animation path means that's the starting point. So you want to line it up with that first square. And the red dot means that's the destination point of where you want the square to go. Additionally, for this path animation to work, we need to add a fade animation. So then they occur at the same time. And we're going to apply the same logic, the fade animation and the path animation to all of these five squares. So then it ends up looking something like this. Now we're going to animate the actual headshots of your teammates. So the animation that we're going to choose in this case is, once again, two folds. The first animation we'll do is a wipe from bottom to top. And we will start this animation with the previous animation. So everything that is playing at the same time. But you can add a delay to it if you want there to be some sort of asynchronicity in the timing. 
And the second part of the animation that we're going to add is once again the path animation. Right? And the goal here is so then as the previous wipe animation is going on, simultaneously the headshot is moving from a top to bottom motion. And we're not going to make the line, the path too long because we still want it to be subtle. So now if you apply that to every headshot, it should look something like this. Now it's time to animate the person's name and title. And for this one, we're going to choose a peek in animation and alternate the direction with coming from top and with coming from bottom. So for the timing, we're going to start to start with previous with a duration of about one second. And then we're also going to add a delay of 2.5 seconds. Finally, use the word HOME as the third and final part of your promo code to download this slide plus hundreds of other templates for free. The full promo code is WORK FROM HOME, no space between each word. So when you put the first word, second word, and third word we gave you throughout the video together, you will form the discount code that you can enter when you check out. Good luck! We're just going to fast forward through this to show how it looks once you've applied all of that to every person's name and title. And now it's time to animate the progress bar. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. We will just do a stretch, but there are different directions it can come from. And we will choose that the stretch is going to go from left to right. And now it's time to animate the text that says the skill sets. And for this one, we'll just do a very quick wipe. So fast forward, let's apply the same animation to all of the progress bars and all of the remaining text. And there you have it. This is how the final slide design with the animation looks like when you play it. We hope you enjoy watching this video. If you work in the industry and have feedback, or if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment and we'll get back to you. This animation is also a slide from a more complete template that includes these slides. If you have suggestions for other templates we should create, let us know. Thank you for watching.